down the coast in New York. More than 200 years after she was given as a gift of friendship from the people of France to the people of America, the Statue of Liberty is still holding her torch high, the second to be held aloft by Lady Liberty. The original was replaced in the 1980s during a massive restoration project. Now beneath her copper skin, only a few millimeters thick, her skeleton is beginning to disintegrate. The steel straps that hold the copper to the steel framework uh, would pull away, the rivets would pull away uh, over a period of 100 to 200 years. Her end has not yet come, but without humans, it soon will. Three hundred years after people, the Statue of Liberty suffers a fatal relapse of an old complaint, galvanic corrosion. Her torch-bearing right arm is the first to fall. Other parts quickly follow. Here on the ocean floor, these shattered symbols of hope become the fossils of the future. The hand with a torch would, by that initial ballistic trajectory, embed itself maybe up to half a meter into the mud. And that impression may well stay, uh, just in the way that footprints are preserved in mud and sand. <laughs> 